Hi friends! Welcome back to Learning with Miss Raven. I'm so glad to have another class with you. Today we're going to learn about math. Can you say math? Math. We're going to learn some math together. Are you ready? How many frogs am I holding? One frog. Let's put one frog on the scale. Do you think if I put the number one on this side of the scale, it'll go flat and it'll be even? Let's try. <gasps> Look at that. One frog equals one. And then they're even. One frog and the number one are the same. What if we add two frogs? Let's add another frog. <gasps> Oh no, look at that. The one doesn't weigh as much because there's two frogs. Do you think we should put the number two and see if that balances it? Let's try. Look at that. Two frogs equals two. What if we add a third frog? Three. Three frogs. What if I just switch out the number and put the number four? The four weighs too much. We need to add a fourth frog. Four frogs. How many frogs should we put? Let's put eight frogs. There's eight frogs. This is the number eight. Let's see. We have eight frogs. What if I want to add a ninth frog, but I don't want to put the number nine? Let's add the ninth frog. I can add a one with the eight. And then that balances it out because eight plus one is nine. So if I take these off and put just the nine, that balances it. Eight plus one is nine. Let's see what else equals nine. Let's put a seven and a two. Seven plus two equals nine. Let's take some frogs away. Let's have three frogs again. Three frogs. Let's see how to make three. We can add a two and a one. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Let's put 6 frogs. 4 plus 2 equals 6. And so does 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 also equals 6. 1 plus 2 equals 3. If I just had the 2, it would be off balance. But since I'm adding a 1, that makes 3. Does one plus two equal four? No, that's silly. One plus three equals four. How can we equal the number five? Should we do four plus one? That equals five. How else can we equal five? Should we do two plus one? Three. Two plus three equals five. Good job. Let's equal six. We can do one plus five. One plus five equals six. We could also do two plus four equals six. See? Two plus four equals six. How can we equal seven? Should we do one plus six. One plus six equals seven. Two plus five equals seven. Or we could do three plus four equals seven. Great job. Let's count our numbers together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Great job, you counted to 10 with me. What does one plus two equal? They equal three. Great job. What does three plus four equal? They equal seven. Great job. What does one plus nine equal? They equal 10. Great job. Let's do some subtraction. Do you know what 10 minus one is? What's 10 if you took one away? It's nine. Great job. Do you know what five minus three is? It's two. Great job. Do you know what three minus two is? It equals one. That's a great job. What's six minus four? That's two. Great job. You're so good at subtraction. Let's do one more. Do you know what eight minus five is? That's three. Great job. You did such a great job learning math today. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun learning with you today. I hope you come back for another class with me. Let's sing the goodbye song together. Get your clapping hands ready. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Learning time is done today, so come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Great job. I'll see you next time. Bye. Can you say bye-bye, Miss Raven? Bye-bye, friends. Mm -hmm.